right, so this number one featherweight contender is no stranger to this setting. Tonight, though, he believes he's just a much better version of himself and finally has the goods and the chops to actually be a world champion. Sometimes you get there, John, and you're just not ready. It's not easy to become the best in the world. The first time this man got here, he was a great fighter. He was good, but he just wasn't ready to be the best in the world. He said that the moment he got back home, he went to work to improve. He feels like all the improvements were made, and tonight he is the best featherweight the UFC has. And it does seem as though we have taken two-way action on this fight, but a lot of people believe in the challenger. And I'm not just talking about his coaches. We'll see how it goes tonight. So here he is right now at present, the best we have to offer at 145 pounds, the undisputed featherweight king, Alexander Volkanovsky. And you want to talk about a championship performance as betting underdog. A lot of people look at Rafael Dos Anjos back in the day against Showtime Pettis. How about what Volkanovsky did in outclassing Max Holloway to realize UFC goal? And he's just starting to put it all together. So it's a scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division to think just how good this Volkanovski could be now, having made those improvements since winning the belt against him. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Elia El Matador And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Well, it has been amazing to watch Alexander Volkanovsky's progression, even when you look back to past title defenses against the likes of the Korean Zombie, almost smiling as if to say, man, I thought you were good. I didn't know you were that good. And it Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Lands a big right hand early. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Man, they are trading early and often. Here we go. Let's go. This will be a good fight. We knew it would. These guys are intent to make it happen. Oh, it's just opening up on him now. Big kick land. And lands the left there. Three minutes to go. It's amazing, one path kick can do so much damage, starting to show some signs of bruising there. It's already starting to limit him. Man, these guys have some chins 
on this. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, nice level change. Volkanovski's in half guard. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Volkanovski. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. But at least staying busy on the bottom. Big ground and pound. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. One minute here to go round one. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. He's got to be careful here. Lands a big elbow there. Ten seconds to go in round one. Now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. Strong kick there. Good. Keep the Shot to the body is blocked. Right. Able to land the left hand there. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. There's that left hand. just looking to recover. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate... Oh! In a ton of trouble right now. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you like. But get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Two minutes now to go in round two. You're behind. Take down. Well, the more things change, the more... Oh! Checks the leg kick. Out of range with that kick attempt. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. Unable to connect with the right. Under a minute to go now in round two. Oh! Oh, how good is that? The diving punch oh, to the head. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Topodia's in half court. 
All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now that work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Round three next. Heading back to the corner now, and however deliberately, Volkanovski's corner looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cutman's got his work to do now. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? You ready? Yeah. Round three of a possible five. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Outstanding kick there by Ilya Topuria. That one snuck in. Nice fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just misses with a left hook there. Volkanovski going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those. He might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Just out of range with that left hook. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Takedown defense is there. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defense. Change the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Big right hand. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Well, calf kicks have changed the game, and there is another one. A lot of swelling now on that lower leg of his opponent. I mean, it's all purple and black, John. This guy's getting his legs destroyed. It got checked. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to make sure the cut DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the strikers are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. All right, so the bruising on that thigh is getting really bad by the minute. He's going to have a hard time walking in the morning, and this fight could end in short order. Well, even in between rounds, the corner needs to be getting ice on that thigh. He's been beat up in this area. This guy's leg is unrecognizable. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Seconds winding down in round three. Oh, That's God. three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish. You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt right, his right. opponent. Lesser right. men would have been right. done. He got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He 
will have to get back to this action if he wants to get this desired finish. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Volker. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Splits to avoid the right hand. Oh, man, that calf is going to be so sore for weeks. Another flush shot. I think we might get a stoppage here soon. A stoppage by leg kick. We don't see him very often. We've seen Edson Barbosa have one in the room. We felt like a Goliath was right on the verge against John Bohovich. This guy better... strike lands there. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the end of the round. I'm looking over to my left, UFC President Dana White. I think he's making out the bonus check right now. Incredible back and forth action. Sign the check, boss. These two <laughs> young men deserve 50,000. Hell, let's give them each 100,000 for the performance that they just put on in one round. Both were hurt. Both were able to withstand the punishment and I can't wait until the next round gets started. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort Ready. of adjustment to try Ready. to change the tide Ready. of this fight. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who wilts and goes down first. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous round. All right, time to hit the Sunoco station. Both of these fighters are on empty. This looks like when I played video games as a seven-year-old. <laughs> when I didn't know nothing but butt match, you two guys have... That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. Ooh. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. 
All right, well, I don't have to be a judge to tell you he is losing this fight late in the game now. Time to start throwing up those submission attempts, I would think. You got to keep going. You got to start throwing up submission attempt after submission attempt and hope that something's free for you to latch on. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Side control now. Oh, Volkanovski's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Ninety seconds to go in the fight. Topuria is in half guard now. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Great shot from the top position. North South will see if the crowd can be mature about this. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Lands the ground and pound strike. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Official decision now in the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 48-47, 49-46, and 48-47. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Bogonovsky! All right, well, his future, of course, is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present still plucking scalps in this UFC featherweight division. Alexander Volkanovsky getting another one tonight, this one by way of decision. What a massive victory for the champ. What an ability to adjust, work the game plan, and stay